Hey everyone, happy Friday. Oh, it is Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, big busy week. It is a big busy week. <laughs> big busy week. So we're here at Epcot today. The Food and Wine Festival has kicked off. It's been going, it's been kicking. You know how you know? Look at the beautiful flowers at the flowering garden. <laughs> that looks rough. Anyway, we are having dinner here tonight. Of course, it's Foodie Friday. We're gonna go knock out the Odyssey, which is brewing currently themed to the Muppets, which I think is a first for this festival. So. Yeah, I mean, shoot. Outside of Regal Eagle Smokehouse, there's no other Muppets in Epcot. No. So I'm very excited that we even get this opportunity, to be honest with you. Me too, I love nice the Muppets. Nice job, Disney. Yeah, I know. Would more Muppets though, right? More anyway, Muppets. let's make our way over and get ourselves some dinner and maybe even a little sweet treat. Schnick. Let's do it. It is another really toasty one here today. There were heat advisories for today. High of 95, but the heat index is like 112. So very exciting stuff. Toasty. <laughs> Get the All right, so here's Here's what we're looking at here. I'm getting those. Peanut butter and jelly. I'm getting those. Okay. I'm getting that. Getting that and that. I'm getting that. Okay. I mean. And maybe those? I don't know. We got a lot. We got a lot of options. Let's go. Let's do it. First and foremost, the Odyssey is absolutely amazing. We'll have to take a look after we're done eating. Yeah. Because I wanted to grab a table, so we didn't really take a look around. Yeah, it's been really, it's really busy today. However, this is fully immersive. Let's go take a look. Taste testing. Cool fusion confection. Mmm. 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 All right, so there's a lot to try here. We have three different types of wings. We have yep. two different types of cold drinks. We're starting with. The pickle milkshake. Yeah, I, I'm. I, go ahead, give it a crack. I'm very excited to try this. That's. It's different. That's different. That's fun. I, I like feel it. like you have this like little hint of of like pickle, like dill pickle flavor yeah. in the background, but it's mostly just a vanilla milkshake. Vanilla it almost milk. reminds me of a shamrock shake. Mm -hmm. But then there's like that twist to the to the, uh, the pickle flavor. Yeah, and on the top, it looks like, you can kind of see, it looks like fennel seeds, but they're little like chocolate pearls. Really good. And we have this, we can't drink this yet because it's still a little too frozen. Oh, Thank and you. I will say, both of these cups are like souvenir cups, which is really cool. And they're wicked cute. Yeah. And I feel like for, for us not having much Muppet stuff, like this is really special, I feel like. I think so. I'm excited. All right, now it's time to try the wings. Yeah, because that's still too frozen, it's huh? It's a little too frozen. <laughs> Can't even try it yet. Oh, did you get some? We gotta wait. No. Okay, we gotta wait. So today we have two drinks and three sets of wings for a total of $33. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's that bad. I don't think so either. And we got a lot of wings. Like, legitimately, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 wings total. Maybe miscounting one. It's a lot of wings. Even at a buck a wing, it's 18 bucks plus two specialty drinks. I don't think that's that bad. I don't either. And these are all specialty, one-of-a-kind things that you can't get anywhere else. So what are we trying first? I'm gonna try the Impossible ones first. Okay. I'm not gonna try the unnecessarily hot wings. No, that's all me. And I'm also not gonna eat the celery. I wonder why. Here we go. They look like chicken nuggets. Yeah, so Ooh, these are impossible. They smell buffalo -y. Yeah, impossible buffalo wings, or buffalo tenders. They smell really good. Pretty good? Yeah. Good try them. They got some heat to them. It's like a regular chicken nugget. Really good. I love it. Ooh, a little bit of heat. Yeah, yeah. there's definitely heat. It kind of builds. Ooh, that's good though. Yeah. All right. Mm. Well, since I'm not trying the unnecessarily spicy one, next I'm going for this. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, these are sticky. 
Oh, I'm hoping for Shep on the board next. Welcome to the Fruit Week Lab here at the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, where the future is being tasted today. Yep. Now taste testing. Is that good? Oh, what a coincidence. The buffalo, the impossible buffalo wings, buffalo tenders, are almost just as hot. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. We're gonna eat a little bit more, and then we'll let you know what we think at the end. Come on, come on, come on, young man. All right, we finished everything. Now, here are our thoughts. Yeah, go for it. I think the impossible like buffalo wings were really spicy. They were much buffalo -er than even I expected. I love them. They were good, but they, they, they were, were hotter very good. than I was expecting. Yep, um, I would agree with that. The peanut butter and jelly sticky wings are sticky and messy, but oh so good. I think they're worth fighting through the sticky and messy. Yes. They're delicious. Absolutely. Yep, 100%. What did you think of the impossibly hot wings? Okay, so this is the weird thing. And I'm a little sad that I had a buffalo wing, a buffalo tender first. The wings themselves, they had their curry flavoring, they were spicy, but I think when combined with the buffalo tenders, it made them actually spicier because after we taste tested everything and then all I ate was the um, spicy wings and then I went back to a tender, it got even hotter. So the combination of the two was ridiculous. It was yeah. delicious though. I love the spice, but it's very hot. Now we have the drinks. This did not work with a straw, which is why we have the spoon. Yeah. But it's very, very good. It's delicious. It's like a frozen tea, which is a like refreshing and perfect combo for everything that's here. Yep. Now the pickle shake. People are saying this is disgusting, and I'm gonna tell you something. I, I figured it out. First of all, it's mostly in your head. It's all in your head. There are a lot of pickle references, so I think you think pickle, but if you close your eyes and think of eggnog, that's what this tastes like. It's exactly what it is. It's very good. It's delicious. I think what's interesting about this is it reminds me of over in the Imagination Pavilion, the stinky smell of skunk actually doesn't smell of skunk. Nope. It smells of coffee, but your brain tells you that it's skunk, so it's really gross. But if you think coffee, it smells like coffee. This is exactly what's going on with this pickle shake, and I love it. And I think what's interesting though is like sometimes I get a hint of more pickle than the nutmeg of like the eggnog flavor that we're saying that it has. I think it's because you're smelling the fennel. I think there's like fennel on top. Yeah, maybe. A little fennel. I think all in all, uh, Disney hit it out of the park with this and We haven't even finished the menu. No. But I think Disney hit it out of the park with the menu. 10 out of 10 so far. Seriously. And I'll tell you right now, the theming of the Odyssey right now is to die for. It we're gonna check it out, but right now we need to finish our drinks. Well, we gotta fly. Even the fly wants this. I mean, it's stinky stuff in here. Mm-hmm. All right, let's wrap this up. All right, so let's take a better look at the whole building. Most of the stuff in here is repeated on different walls, but we're gonna take a look anyway. Definitely lots of theming that reminds me of Muppet Vision 3D in here, which I think is so cool. And then there are nods to what's being served, so. The electric pickle. Don't try this at home. Lots of cool stuff in here. Cool facts about hot peppers. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's actual like movement and dials on the wall, which is so cool. There's even an incident counter on that far wall there. It's only been four minutes since the last accident. Lots of lots of exciting stuff happening in here. That's great. I'm reading I'm reading through the like, can't take the heat stuff. Oh my get stolen again and be carrots with their wings. Oh my bunnies. We even have some cool sciencey stuff on the outside telling us that there's lots of exciting experiments happening in the Odyssey. I think that the Odyssey is so cute right now. I love the theming. I love what they're doing with the Odyssey for the different 
festivals. You know what I have questions about? Let me show you. I have questions. Questions about the poles. Now, those are supposed to be for the 100th celebration nighttime thing. You would think that Epcot would stop with the vertical, you know? But, at least it's not the harmonious barges, so. Can I really complain? Not really. Russ has pulled us over to Germany to see what they have. I keep wanting to try this every year. I never end up getting it. Who would try the apple strudel? Maybe that's what we do next time. Okay. And I gotta get the Alps too. I, I, I know, we need to do both of these. Next time, let's do them both. Let's knock them both out. Next week. Goodness knows there is no way I can eat anything else tonight. I am so full. So we just ducked into the Germany pavilion to catch the AC and saw this hoodie. Check this out. I love that it says the Germany pavilion on the side. How much is this? $59.99. Is there anything on the back? No. Nope. Super cute though. I really like that. So like I said, we just pulled off into the Germany pavilion. And while I was there, I stopped by the kid cot because if you recall from a previous video, I got myself one of these passports. And so I figured since we were in Germany, I needed to get it stamped. And that's what I did. And this is what it looks like. Now, I haven't put my stickers in yet, so it does look kind of bare, but how cool is that? And I got another little kid cot sticker with a coloring page on the back. Very exciting stuff. I can't wait to fill this whole thing, you know, as a kid. I had this passport, never got it finished. So now, we're gonna do it. Wouldn't it be cool, you know, I was thinking about this the other day. Yeah. Wouldn't it be cool too, if we visit all of these countries in real life and bring this passport around with us? I think that would be pretty awesome. I think so, it'd be fun. So, first we have to do all the countries here in World Showcase, then eventually <laughs> 11 countries around the world, plus of course more, but it's an exciting little journey. What? I'm just living out my dreams day by day. So let's take another look at these really tall poles. I know I'm all over the place, but look, my brain is all over the place today. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not entirely bothered by this. I don't know what they're doing, but I'm not as bothered by it as I was when I just saw the pictures. Do you have any thoughts? Stringing something up? Just like, I, don't, I don't know. I, here's the thing, it's not a barge. That is That's very true. Where, yeah, I, I don't care what you do, it's not, it's not a barge. We've made our way into Creation Shop on our way out of the park and I thought I'd show you some of the festival merch. They have some really cute stuff this year. So here we have this tumbler. Do I need this? No. Do I want it? Yes. $29.99. Got some t-shirts here. This one's nice and lightweight. I love the lightweight t-shirts. I'm currently definitely not wearing a lightweight t-shirt. This one is $34.99. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, check this out. A pitcher with the stacking glasses inside. It does say food and wine on it, and this says food and wine on the glasses as well. $34.99 for that one. I bet that's gonna go on sale. The summer stuff didn't sell too well, but that's just my prediction. If you can hang in there until the end of the festival. Got some measuring spoons. These are so cute. We do need measuring spoons. These are $14.99 and lots of other stuff over here too. Plates. Spatula. This is just one of the collections. There are multiple different food and wine collections to choose from. Look at this tray. This is super cute too. $20 for this. I really like that. So we're stepping away from the festival merch for a second to take a look at these dolls. Now these are new. What's exciting about these dolls is that they now have accessories that come with them. So previously these dolls were for sale but they didn't have accessories. So now they do which is pretty cool. I think this is a recent release. It is $34.99. Instead of Philippe. Because. Buy sheep. Maybe you should watch the movie. It's been a long time. All right, we're diverting back over to festival merchandise. This is really cool. I really like this. It's a spirit jersey. 
for food and wine. It is $99.99, but check this out. It is a zip-up. How cool is that? I love, love this. It also has pockets. That's really neat. And check this out for $14.99. Little bento box. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. It's probably nothing too special, but it would definitely hold a few festival treats, or at very least a sandwich. Maybe we'll grab one of these. I like the storage containers from the festivals. Oh, and look at that. It's actually Tupperware. I found a Tupperware. A Tupperware? A Tupperware. I wanna see. All right, let's go look. Show me. Check it out. Oh, um. I think I need it. Um. I feel like it would hold a Pop-Tart and some snacks. I think we're buying this. I think we're buying this. I think we're buying this. <laughs> so we're gonna buy this, but I figured since we're gonna do it via purchase in store, let's um, show you how that's done. So we're here at Creation Shop. We're just in the My Disney Experience app. We're gonna scan the item. And it's gonna add it to the bag. Look at that, discounts are taken. So we're good to keep shopping and then we'll check out when we're done. All right, so we haven't found anything that we wanted, nothing else at least. So we're gonna go ahead and check out. And then we'll just scroll to the bottom, hit purchase. And there it is, there's our code. So now we just have to go to the exit and show them the code and we're done. We've purchased what we want to purchase. So let's head out. All right, on our way out. That means we're done. Parking lot view, on our way out. It is definitely not cooling off. Sauna hot. Yeah, like, you know how they say like open an oven door hot? That's how it feels. It honestly feels like when I was in Arizona. I went to Arizona like four years, five years ago now mm. and whew. This is what it felt like when you open the door. Yeah, it's not muggy. No. It's just hot. It's just hot. Yeah. But we had a great night. I think so. And kudos for Disney for bringing the Muppet experimental eatery situation happening. That was really cool. Absolutely loved it. Loved every second of it. I will probably be back again. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. For I'm the not, drinks. I'm not huge into wings, so. Neither am I. I'm not a huge wing person, um, but I definitely like the drinks. Yeah, sorry, I'm distracted. They're singing the Bluey theme song and it's taking everything in me not to just <laughs> dance along. But anyway. It's been a while for a foodie Friday. Sorry, everyone. It has. And I'm, I'm sorry about that, but you know what? Sometimes, Life sometimes is this happened. is just the way it goes. Oh. So we appreciate your understanding in all of this. And we hope that you enjoyed this foodie Friday. Anyway, we have a lot more to come. Make sure that you stay tuned. Where are you going, Russ? Uh, we have one more row to go, my dear. Are you sure? Yep. I don't think we do. Yeah, we do. I don't think we do. That's okay. Anyway, be oh, sure to- I'm delirious, it's too hot. <laughs> be sure to stay tuned for our next Foodie Friday and the next Bruise Beans and Beyond video where you go to a different coffee shop. This one's gonna be good, so make sure that you subscribe yeah. and follow along for that. But for now, we're gonna attempt to find the car. And cool off. And we will see you in the next one. Hi everyone. Hi.